to come in and do Liam shirt this morning. What did you say? She complimented me on my ironing. Said that he might cut his hands on the creases. I hope you said it was me. Did I yuck? What, you took the credit? <laughs> I'll be on to the union. How do you get everything so flat? Look, baby, you don't use enough steam. I've been watching. You've got to start with the heel of the iron, not the tip. It's like origami, my ironing. I'll stick to cutting hair. Remind me what you're waiting for. Uh, just two coffees, but I think Roy's gone to Columbia for the beans. <clears throat> I'm on it. Have you thought any more yet about Ray's offer? Time's not right. The price is, though. Yeah, but the fact you could give us an income for the rest of our life. It's like a pension. So could the barbers. The fact more reliable. Is it? You know, with most of production moving to the Far East. It's a wonder that place is still going with them idiots in charge. What idiots? 50 centers. One of them is your brother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, I know you're disappointed, but... Well, everyone always needs their hair cutting, don't they? Yeah, but not for 20 quid a pop. I mean, how many pandemics and recessions can you survive charging that? Well, if we go on the bones of our backsides, I can always rent you out, I suppose. Hey. Mobile ironing. Well, satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Where did you learn it, anyway? Was it the army? Mum. Oh. <laughs> Look, we'll find somewhere for you eventually, I promise. Just got to bide our time. Coffee times two. It's at long last. Leave a message. Todd, hiya. Look, it's Mum. Listen, I've raided an ICER. I can get my hands on 1,300 quid, so I'm going to withdraw it today. So... Let's just pay him off and put an end to this, eh? Hiya! What do you think of this new top? I can't really tell because this label won't go over my shoulder. Mm. If in doubt, take it back. You'll never wear it. Mm. Oh. How are you since yesterday? You know, all the fun and games slash trauma. Could have done without it. I bet you could. Morning. Morning. Morning? Oh, what, this? No, I, I just pulled it at random from the back of my cupboard. Right. Can I go upstairs and use your big mirror? Do you normally ask? No. Oh, Violet's text. Dylan's going to come and stay for half term. I presume that's OK. What's this about? Once again, I'd really like to apologise. I'm going to the bank. Well, what time will you be back? You have no puff. Will you leave me alone? I had plenty of puff. There was nothing going in. I was doing perfectly well. <laughs> oh, you missed it before, right? My mum was trying to blow a balloon up. I'd done all these. She'd not even done a single one. It's not a competition. It's like that song, Puff the Magic Dragon, except it was Puff the Magic Gale. <laughs> it's friends and family only this afternoon, so no Aaron. I don't know why everyone's bothering with these delayed parties. It's a pity we couldn't have little Sam here. Who? Oh, the... Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go and see Roy and Nina. Oh, I'll walk you over. The plan is for Sarah to pick the birthday girl up at two o'clock and I've asked Ken and Rita to be here at half past. Mm, party central. All the movers and shakers. Pretty <laughs> awful. What about Nick? No, he can't. He said he's going to be at the hospital all day, so... Nine? Nine sisters, although five of them are only half-sisters. Well, uh, were you the only boy? Apple of my mother's eye. Yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> what is he doing in there? Well, he was always the same. Last to be ready, always forgetting something. He's like a woman. Well, well you'd know, wouldn't you, growing up with that lot? <laughs> what about you? Any brothers or sisters? Nah, classic only child. Extremely self-sufficient, bright, ambitious, controlling. Occasionally overbearing. Oh, here he is. Oh. Morning. Got yourself sorted now, have you, madam? Nine sisters, this one, did you know? Yeah, I knew we had a few. Are uh, we right? Yes. Oh, actually, no. Left my hand gel on the bar. Oh, my two shakes. Off for a walk, then? Yeah, she likes to get me doing a few steps, you know. Well, it's important to look after the elderly. I'll tell you what, though, you're a lucky man. She's a flirty little so-and-so, isn't she? Look, I'd love to help you out. No, you wouldn't. You'd hate to because you're a gossip and you're a liar. Got it! Come on! Have fun.
Berlin. Evening. It's Kevin here, Ty. What? It's Kevin. Uh, yeah. Kev? Hello, Gary. Know anything about that? What is it? It's a letter from a solicitor claiming to represent the personal company that owns my shop. Tell me it's a scam. Look, I should have told you before now. I don't own a building anymore. I had to offload it a few months back. Who to? Oh. New landlord. That's the name of the company, but I'm no one name to give you, mate. Yeah, now they're banging the rent up. Well, that's out of my hands. Have you seen how much buy? For that dump? Yeah, exactly. So thanks for keeping me in the loop. Look, I didn't know this was going to happen. Yeah, well, this is what I think of that. What are you doing back? Well, you might well ask. I am asking. That inflatable mattress that you lent him. What about it? It had a hole in it. It was flat as a pancake and he's got a bad back. Well, so that's why he had to come back? Yes. What else were we supposed to do? Well, he must have punctured it. I've had that mattress years, ever since I went camping in North Wales with Kirk. Well, I should chuck it in the bin, if I were you. Oh, well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. Yes, well, everybody's sorry it didn't work out. So you come straight to work? Yes. Yes, I requested this shift, I did. What? Mm. Right, I'll come pick you up when it's nearer time, yeah? Yeah. Hey, David, I've just had a message off Audrey inviting me to a delayed birthday party. Yeah, it's just nibbles at ours. Well, why didn't you tell me before? I'm fully booked this afternoon now. Well, I thought she'd have told you. No, she didn't. Oh, well. She's 80 now, so, you know. So you're not having it in the garden, then, I take it? No, we're not, but that's what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. What, has he still not been over to check out your sinkhole? No, nothing. And he's blanking my messages as well. Right, I'll remind him now. Do. See ya. See ya. Sean? Sean? No. Um, he went to return that top based on your advice. I, I thought he looked rather dashing. What are you doing home? I've come to get you. Get me? Yes. Perhaps things might become clearer when you accompany me to the shop. What shop? Preston's Petals. Mary, this is all very cloak and dagger. Do you want to tell me what's going on? No, George will. George? What? Has this got to do with George? Well, more will be revealed if you just follow me now. No, I, I don't want to follow you. I'm trying to save my son's bacon in case you hadn't noticed. As are we. Have you got anything darker to wear? What? Something more funereal. How'd you get on? These are my best jeans, you seen that? I know, it's deep, isn't it? Yeah, it's deep, yeah. Quite a glimpse of the Sydney Opera House. So what do you think? We're gonna follow them up, a few lads to shift it, six man hours, about 300 quid. Well, yeah, and the rest. And I'm not in the game anymore, but I know a decent firm. Since it's you, Dave, I'll negotiate a price. Won't be cheap, though. You know, all that sounds great until you said won't be cheap. <laughs> what that cup of tea? Oh, yeah, I knew there was something. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. What is it? A pressing fixture? Oh, yeah. West Ham away. Oof, tough. <laughs> you still want it? Not now, no. We'd have to stand around making idle chit chat while it cools down. Mm. Speaking of which, I'll tell you how they offer on this place. What, you selling up? Well, I wasn't gonna till all this happened. Who made the offer? Someone that Ray Crosby knows. Why? No reason. Were they pushy? No. How much? Rude. Did he say anything else? She. And now she made out like she was doing us a favour. And then Ray donated some money for Oliver's fund. So what was she called, this, uh contact of his? 
Roxy. Some property developer. She's been leafleting all over the street. Yeah. Yeah, Tim said something about that. Yeah, Steve's all over it. So in his taxi office, his flat, everything. Right, I'll come back to you with some figures, yeah? Yeah, nice one. And the bill for my dry cleaning. <laughs> Funny guy. He's doing this for you. Doing what for me? Staging it. Staging what? Well, certain problems might go away if certain people think that Todd's... you know. No, I don't know. <sighs> George is an undertaker. I'm a florist. There are certain ways of making certain parties... Is George in the shop now? Yes. And if I go over there... Todd might not have to pay Mick Cheney anything at all. Right. This had better be good. I really would get changed if I were you. Mm -hmm. Visitor. What? What? Hey, look at this. A life of a publican. How was the walk? I was warning him out. <laughs> Can I get you half a lager? I'm driving. Some crisps? No, but thanks. Are you sure? The man's OK for crisps. Oh, dear. He's been grouchy all day. See if you can talk some sense into him. I'll try. Is this really fair? Is what really fair? I've got MS. I'd be the worst getaway driver in the world. Who said you'd be driving? Well, whatever I'd be doing. The man's a gibbering wreck. Used to have nerves of steel like Superman. I've been through enough. Well, on the subject of fairness, is this really fair? You getting to run a pub without a care in the world, sitting on your backside all day, listen to this racket? I find it very relaxing. That little park up the road. Meet me there at half past three and I'll talk you through the details. What details? You don't get to say no. You can't force me into this. Jennifer! All right, all right. I'll listen to what you have to say, but I'm not making any promises. There's a good boy. With it. I beg your pardon? Inflatable mattress. Not wrong with it. Isn't there? Well, must have been a slow puncture. Nope. Absolutely fine. I've just had 40 winks on it. So the reason you came back? Well, I mean, it was it was most insistent. We had a wonderful evening. And then, well, in the morning, I could tell there was something up. And he blamed that bed. He said he couldn't possibly spend another night on it. What, and you won't let him in the caravan? You don't think he let the air out on purpose, do you? Crafty old dog. Well, a filthy old beggar. He was trying to make his way into my bed. Oh, you should have just took it as a compliment. No, I take it as no such thing. What now? The name Roxy mean anything to you? Oh, there's a club up in town and Roxy music. Quite like Brian Ferrer. This company you sold to, it's Ray Crosby, isn't it? Can't say. Why did he want it? Well, you know what these blokes are like. The world's a big monopoly board. Yeah, well, Mayfair and Bond Street are one thing, but... Uh, that's a decent piece of real estate. Real estate? You've been watching too much American TV. OK, land, building, property, whatever you want to call it. Well, I think you called it a dump earlier, Ken. Look, he paid me fair and square. It's up to him what he does with it. Do you trust him? I don't trust anyone. Look after number one. That's my motto. You don't like him, do you? I never said that. He didn't have to. Look, I've got a crack on. It's a masterstroke. 
Don't you see? No, I don't. Oh, Eileen, give me two minutes. I just need to take this call. Why don't you put a black dress on? Mary, I thought you were supposed to tell her to. Mr Chambers. Now, don't tell me. Don't tell me. We are going with the... Uh, mahogany. MDF. You'll keep us afloat single-handed, you will. <laughs> oh, I should probably make me own lunch, really. Coffee machine's broken all in the salon. Don't fix it. <laughs> See ya. Hi, Maria. Hello. Best price you'll get. Sorry? Gary. For the factory. Oh, I know, yeah. I've tried telling him, but... <laughs> He'd be off his rocker to refuse it. But I think he's thinking long-term, you know, about our pension and that, so... No head for business. Bless him. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Can I get you? Pick a bun. Any bun, as long as it's got cream on it. Got some bang and eclairs. All these new Belgian buns with a cherry on top. Give me a Belgian bun. Don't let Roy E say in that. What? Give me one of his many pet hates. Please, can I have? All right. Please, can I have a Belgian bun? You may. And a cup of tea. Coming right up. <sighs> That took a while. Yeah. Yes, I had to go to Fresco's. I bumped into Gail. It's a uh, order his delayed birthday today. All these delayed birthdays. Get Shona on the subject. She thinks they should all sack him off. So, you miss your birthday. Get over it. Where is she? Shona. She was just sitting there, chatting to some builders. Oh. Where are you going? I've got to get back to work. I sold us that lot in there. Oh, buzzkill. Whose party was this supposed to be again? Oh, it's my husband's grand. She's 80. Well, not today. She was 80 during lockdown. But everyone's having these delayed parties. It's just an excuse for old folk to get bladders. And where is your husband? Um, oh, he's here. Does he know you've invited that lot in there? He'll be fine. Come on in. Have another sandwich. What's all this? Look, your missus said there was a buffet. Where's your glass? Do you want a top up? Who's in there? Oh, just some lads from the cafe. I told them there's plenty to go around. What? You having a laugh? Sorry. Roy detained me. Who's he? She's invited a load of randomers. They're all in there, stuff in the face. My buffy. Happy birthday, love. <laughs> we didn't think. No one ever does. I'm surrounded by pillocks. My son is mixed up with a violent and dangerous man, and you thought this was a way out without even consulting me. It was George's idea. Sorry. Sorry, it's been going non-stop. I'm sure. Honestly, the environment does nothing for our trade. Cardboard caskets, wicker, MDF. We're almost destitute. You've got some explaining to do. Yeah. I know the lads who run the creme. I've got us booked in for three o'clock. Empty casket, one of them on every pew. You stupid, stupid man. Did she not say who we've invited? Mick Cheney. I don't care if you've invited Mick Cheney, Don Cheney or Lon Cheney. I, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Just think about it. He saw Mick two days ago. Yeah, well, it is a quick turnaround, I'll give you that. But we'll put the coffin through the curtain Pick it up on the other side. With no one there? You don't think he'd smell a rat? We'll be there. Todd hates abide with me. Yeah. Admittedly, I did take a punt on the music. I thought we'd see him off with the pet shop boys. But you did say, didn't you, that he was, um, you know... What? Gay? Always on my mind. It was Elvis originally, I, I believe. Why didn't you just put an advert in the Gazette? Men like Mick Cheney don't read the Gazette. What, do you think he sat around all day with a nice cup of tea perusing the classifieds? Too busy kneecapping hoodlums. I bet he's his brother. So I have Mick's number in my phone. And what if he doesn't show? Then I've wasted my time. And money. Ah, no, because we got a great deal on the printing. Bob Critchlow, Teal Road Industrial Estate. 
I went to school with him, and he's... All right, enough! Mick. So? It's true. Sir. All right. What might find you here? Come in. Shut the door. Let's have a quick chat, if that's all right. Farinaceous. Come again. I try to learn a new word every day. Got the idea from an old Al Pacino movie. Farinaceous. Meaning? Pass. Consisting of or containing starch. Mm. It's one to drop into conversation, eh? When I'm next discussing the ironing. If you can think of anything worse. Oh, I can think of one or two things. Given that I served in Afghanistan and I had a conversation about ironing this morning. What can I do for you, Ganny? Tell me again what you're offering. 150? Double it. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Shall we shake on? You want us all to sell up, don't you? Who have you been talking to? Well, not Roxy, that's for sure. I assume it's the land you're after. Do you now? Mm. Soldier. <laughs> See, what I want to know is why. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs> 